It's it's us. The Boo Bays. The Boo Bays. Your Bays. Your Boos. We're back. We're back. We're back, baby. We didn't really go anywhere, but. Yeah. I mean, we just disappeared for a week, but as we, we normally do. Like a ghost. Yep. Like Coming at you every night. Tuesday. Um, mm. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Joshua. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're here to talk about some scary movies. We are. Mm. Scary movies that we love, you I, hit love, you hate, we hate. Ones that the popular com- <laughs> Literally Popular the, opinion. Uh, hate. Ones that Rotten Tomatoes hate. Yeah. <laughs> um, what they? What was it? Twenty seven. percent. Let me let me tomato go back to that. Rating. Metacritic. We got thirty eight. Uh, okay, I really hate this new Apple update. I can't tell what the fuck is going on on my phone. <laughs> You're so lost at all. Like okay. the the web. You know how everything's mm-hmm. at the bottom now. I fucking hate it. Oh, it's a twenty six percent on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> 6.2 on IMDb and 38% on Metacritic. But hey, you but know 85% what? of Google users did like this Do, movie. And it's got a 6.2 out of 10, so that's not bad on that part. Yeah. Anyways, we're talking about... As above, so, <laughs> so below. below. As below, so above? As blah, blah. <laughs> As Marilda. I don't know. Um, um, hey, Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Hunchback yeah. at Notre Dame. Good that's little what? call right there. And we are in Paris. We are. That's where this movie is taking place. Mm-hmm. Um... I, yeah, I'm excited to talk about it. There's a lot to unpack with this. There's, There's so, so much. many little because, subtleties. I mean, it's also too like <clears throat> being a horror film, whatever. Um, There's just a lot of like, we were kind of joking about it yesterday about like, this is almost like National Treasure, but horror. Film. Yes. Yeah. And as I'm watching it again, I'm like, oh, you, you're so like, I'm getting so much National Treasure. From yeah. This. As I was like, watching it this clue, morning, I was like, oh, yeah. Every like her. Yeah. Like, so when's Nick Cage going to pop out? Literally. Where is he? Where's my man? One true God. The only thing that would cement it. <laughs> he was, if he played Nicholas Flamel. Oh, my God. Uh, really, they missed. Reprises his role as Ghost Rider. There are so many opportunities there. Mm-hmm. A little crossover. Yeah. They really miss an opportunity there. They should, Shout out to Nick. They should John Edric, uh, Eric. Yeah. The Dowdle. Di- the director, right? The Dowdles. Yeah. They should have uh, They should have consulted us. Dowdle. When, yeah. are, when are these producers and directors going to learn? When are, when are chicken their dinner? lesson? Yeah, I don't know. And talk to us. We'll see. We only have the best ideas here. We need to make a movie. We do. Okay, say no. Okay, we're getting distracted. All right, so. Boobay's a movie. Literally. <laughs> it's just me awkwardly laughing at a camera. <laughs> I can't act. Oh, and, and I'm just like dropping mallets down streets. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody finds a mallet. <laughs> down Austin Avenue. Austin, please return to Sender. It's me. Yep. Um, we okay. lost one. Okay. RP. All right, so as above, so below, a film released in 2014, Mm -hmm. directed by John Eric Dowdle, who did not, did not um, talk to us about this before he did it, but you know what, hey. And Drew Dowdle, Dowdle helped produce it. Oh yeah, that's right. There's Dowdles. I don't know. Maybe they're lovers. That's what I was hoping, but Mm. it's probably not. Yeah, this was 2014, so gays could still not marry. At that time. Maybe they are gay though. Look at them. <laughs> Caitlin. What? I'm just kidding. Everybody, <laughs> it's the way that everybody's gay to me. <laughs> at least I hope he so. He actually works with his brother, Aww, Drew okay. Dowdle. They That's literally awesome. do not look alike at all. What the fuck? Do they you look, look like, so different. Do you look like your siblings? I will well, see Patty. Yeah, I've seen. I don't, I've never seen your other brother. Breton and I look pretty damn similar. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. We got the same. We got the same face. <laughs> I look a lot like one of my sisters, but my other sister, I mean, we still favor, but she looks, takes more for my mom's side of the family. Mm, yeah, Patrick takes more for my mom. Um, Anyways. Back to the foul. How do you compare to your siblings? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please People, comment, let us know. leave it in the comments, post your picture, send it to us. <laughs> We'd like to know. Um, So, to die. We got yeah. a little recap of, so mm-hmm. essentially what's happening is we yeah, are following... Huh? Sorry. Yeah, lay down lay down the structure. Oh, I thought you said hold on, wait. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> um essentially we're following archaeologist Scarlett Marlowe. 
who is played by Perdita Weeks. I like that name. Perdita. Perdita. Yeah, you say it better. <laughs> has devoted her, um, she's essentially devoted her whole life to finding one of history's greatest treasures, Flamel's Philosopher's Stone. Nicholas Flamel, we mm -hmm. got some alchemy in there. I was like, ooh, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. I was like, the Sorcerer's Stone? Pretty much. And actually, yes, because Flamel well, gifted that there. to Dumbledore, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So um, according to legend, the artifact can grant eternal life and turn any metal into gold. When she learns that the stone is hidden underground in the catacombs of Paris, she assembles a crew to guide and document her historic mission. As they begin their descent, the team members have no way of knowing that they are essentially entering their own personal hell. Yeah. It is preying on their past and forcing them to like come to terms with their past. And so they're each yes. haunted in their own. They are each haunted by their past, by their past. And, and it really comes out throughout the whole movie mm -hmm. and um, <clears throat> little subtleties. So very much so just everywhere. Um, and so, yeah, basically we also start to with like Miss um, Scarlet. Um, you already get a lot of backstory of how it's, it's opening up. Well, there's an opening scene where she's finding the ruby or the red rose. The uh, it's ruby? the the rose key. The rose key. And there that's written in Aramaic, which is how our homeboy George comes in later. Yeah. But. So basically it starts off with her um, completing her dad's mission to find the stone. But in doing so, she had to find this rose key because it's what to help her translate mm -hmm. um, and, and all the other clues that she needs to actually it's essentially find like the, the, the Rosetta, Rosetta stone. stone. Yeah. yeah. And so um, then after that, though, we skip to like they're opening up. It's um, a, like a found footage style type of a film. Mm -hmm. And so it opens up with uh, Benji, who is her uh, cameraman, cameraman, cameraman um, slash, I guess, just assistant. Yeah, something um, recording her. And it's almost like a, an interview or just kind of getting to know her. So you really get a lot of the backstory of like already like her father was searching for this stone and he ultimately ended up killing himself a few um, things going back though mm -hmm. to the found footage scene that happens as she's finding that uh rose key, rose key. the they're blowing up they're uh demolishing mm -hmm. this cave system i guess is what yes. it is and um so as she's going in there and as she's escaping and all of the like horror and the collapsing yeah and just calamity just, mm -hmm. she sees her father hanging yes from a noose which um comes heavily into play mm -hmm. later. So I think it's important to note that he was, his body was there. And then she also said <clears throat> that the punishment for trespassing like this, um, wherever they were, mm -hmm. it's like burial up to your neck in sand. And all I could think about was Scorpion King. I've never seen that movie. Oh, it's like, <laughs> I know what it is. Yeah. There's just like this one scene where the rocks buried up to his neck, neck in sand. sand. Yeah. And then Ooh. he has to like, bite these big ass fire ants off and shit. it's really dumb mm. i love it that's a because it's a spin off from the mummy right mm -hmm. yeah yeah oh, the rock with the rock with the, he's oh, made such a career he did after the wrestling thing you know mm -hmm. like <clears throat> really came into his own but i just yeah i love scorpion king and so um <laughs> it's such a trash movie <laughs> I love, we all have those trash movies that we we really like yeah mm -hmm. i have quite a few of them um, and so, yeah, so we we're getting to like get to know her backstory. Um, Miss Scarlet has uh, what four degrees? Essentially, or, uh, she's for sure fluent in four languages and two dead ones. There we go. And she does have she's got a, at least three. It was like three degrees. It was yeah. something, something, and something. I wrote homegirl's got like eight hundred degrees. Yeah, like essentially, she's just a boss bitch. Ninety eight degrees. Yes. Um, <laughs> Didn't we talk about Nick Lachey yesterday? yesterday. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> But yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're really laying down the framework of like Scarlet <coughs> is smart as fuck. Smart, <laughs> but is also too like dedicated, like all of the degrees at least. I mean, it's not like rocket science or this or that. Like she has dedicated her life to continuing her father's work. Mm -hmm. And so everything is like. Her <laughs> entire life is like coming to this moment. Yes. Everything she's worked for, everything her father has worked for. And instilled in her what she's learned. Unfolds um, in. An hour and a half. 90 minutes. Yeah, the, <laughs> the film is literally 90 minutes. 93 minutes. Um, but yeah, so we're getting to know that we um, found the rose key. So now she has to go find George. Mm -hmm. um, George. And he's George. fixing some clocks. Yeah, it's the way that I, sh I guess he, he, what did she say? He's a he, clock he, fixer? Well, mm -hmm. he likes to break into places and fix things. Oh. Remember? 
Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, okay, yeah. Um, because they break, they she breaks into this uh, church, old tower, tower bell, the bell tower, bell tower yeah. and so <laughs> um, they're looking for George, and it's the way that like whenever he first sees her, he's just like, nope, whatever you want, I don't want to be a part of it. Yeah. Yeah. They got some history. There's some history there. We find in uh, Turkey. Turkey, mm-hmm. they had some some issues. Essentially, he ended up in a jail. Mm-hmm. And I think she just kind of dipped. Yeah, I guess she left him. Yeah. Because she was, well, she said, I couldn't let the lead die. So I'm assuming, like, she just let him take one for the team mm-hmm. as she was still trying to, following. Like, following whatever lead it was that was leading her to the Rose Key. Because that's mm-hmm. what she was searching for, I guess, at that time. And so um, th- it's the way that, like, um, if I were also the cameraman, Benji, I'd be like, what the fuck? Like, mm-hmm. you obviously, because he's telling her, like, he, uh, George is telling Benji, like, stay away from her. Like, yeah. whatever you do, do not. And I, I'd be like, Don't oh, that's her. a red flag yeah. right there. This bitch will abandon you in a foreign country. <laughs> and leave you in jail. And she's I mean, like, he's I'm like sure. you left me in prison. She's like, I mean, it was more of a jail, yeah. not a prison. Like, she just brushes it off. Literally. I mean, I guess, thankfully, <laughs> at least they seem, he seems to be fluent and quite a few different at least in aramaic because yeah. that's what mainly comes into key here yeah but um and i feel like i imagine prequel, he probably took care of himself yeah there but and i'm sure like if there was a prequel that's like what brought them together like i can see like she was in search of like some translator for this and that but mm-hmm. then they fell in love but then she left him in jail and then she left him and yeah. never returned his calls and the <laughs> running thing for her. Yeah, she don't pick, she up, don't the phone pick up the phone. Oops. Until she gets the hill. Yep. Um <laughs> and so uh we <laughs> was that the chair? That was the was microphone. The mic. <laughs> um and so uh yeah, there Essentially she tells him like, Yo, I found the rose key and he's like huh? What? What? Mm-hmm. You did? Okay. And so now now he's like, Oh god, as much as I hate this bitch. Yeah, he's I, like, she, I gotta. She's got her little hooks in me. And he's like, I gotta fucking know. I yeah. gotta know. And so he talks with, um, so there's some jealousy going on as he talks with oh, yeah, the museum curator. That's right. And they were. Well, I think <laughs> it, was like, it was even before. Beautiful. Maybe Wasn't it even before, though? Um, from both of them. Because it was whenever she was like, I found it. And he's like, well, who'd you go with? Did you go by yourself? Who was with you? Oh, yeah. You know? And I like, felt like that was more of a, like, like, you shared that moment with another person mm, and yeah. not me. I could see that. What? And then yeah. on her end, whenever he's speaking with her, she's like, she's really beautiful. And Benji's like, yeah, she's, she's got, got great legs. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay. And she's like, oh, how do you know her? Yeah, and trying to be like, subtle. And it's his, like, face expression when he's like, uh, work circles. Yeah, like, professional circles. Professional circles. Like, professional fucks. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> Um, and so, uh, they get, okay, in, bud, you they get, get around. Uh-huh, they get into the museum. She left him in jail. She has no, like, yeah, <laughs> he can go fuck who, and you didn't return his calls, girl. Literally. He can fuck whoever. And so, uh, we get into the museum, uh, that this curator, or whoever let them into. She said 10 minutes. 10 minutes to look at, um, Nicholas Famel's tombstone. Or, yeah, his yes. tombstone that he carved himself. Yeah. And so it's under her belief that he left clues on there mm-hmm. to find this philo- philosopher's stone. We got to get the back of the, the, the what's the, <coughs> yeah. what, what's that map? What's that thing that we, uh, it's like. Which one? The Declaration of Independence. Oh, yes. So here, National Treasure, once again. We got to get the back with the lemon. With the lime. (laughs) Fire. It's the the way that I'm like, whenever, (laughs) right before this happened, I'm just thinking like, I just know they're about to pull some lime out, some Mm -hmm. invisible ink shit. And I'm just like, it's the way that, have we not found another way to hide (laughs) fucking maps on backs of things? Like, Nope. We got to do it like that. And also, too, it's the way that there was, she's like, oh, we just need some everyday cleaning supplies. And there was literally a a tray. Cart right there. Cart just right there next to her. Yeah. Like, like, where was the custodian who was... Right? Yeah. Where did they go? They just dipped. dipped. They said, here, I'll leave this. Is I know that this cart's going to come re- in handy. Sitting in the restroom watching YouTube on company time, probably. Probably. Anyways, they they realize on the back of this, so he's helping her translate it. And mm-hmm. they've got this big old puzzle, yeah. essentially, all these clues and stuff that they're having to un- decipher. Yeah, decipher. And they're saying like, oh, he's got he's carrying something on his back. Mm-hmm. And so that's why they decide to pull it off the wall. And back of it. <laughs> at one point, George goes like once the actual yeah. fire lights up and shit, he's like, okay, that's cool. Not go to jail. Cool. 
But That's really cool. fucking cool. Yeah. <laughs> you can see that he's like, okay, shit, I know this is illegal, but damn. Like, yeah. You're right. Because it's like, oh, man, you were right. And yeah. He, just as much as she does. I think it's more, I mean, she has obviously, like, her dad behind it. That's her thing. But he seems to, like, really also love, like, the thrill of, like, oh, that yeah. kind of shit. He is, he, I mean, they're both, like, history buffs. Yeah. Little nerds, mm -hmm. which is great. That's awesome. Great pairing, it's, especially for this movie. Yes. And so they get so passionate when they are like looking through what that inscription said and they're un they're going through and deciphering each bit. And I don't have everything on there, but the what is lost shall be regained yeah. is I think kind of the biggest line, biggest yeah. takeaway from that. The, uh, the, the theme that kind of runs throughout everything. Yeah. Yes. Because, I mean, again, their past. It really comes, comes to bite back them in the ass. To haunt them. And they mm -hmm. get it again. So, um, it's the way that everybody, I, well, not everybody, I guess, but a lot of these, like the characters have like, uh, like, yeah, trauma, like mm -hmm. some sort of trauma or some secret or something yes. unresolved, like issues. I mean, we all do. Right. But I'm yeah. like, these people had like some fucked up stuff. Like, mm -hmm. and it's very just so, sad. Events. And it's just so funny that they all like in, end up being the ones together. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? <clears throat> it's very convenient for the plot. Yeah. Very, very much so. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so uh, we're, we're getting to them now looking at the back of the thing. They found out, like, more clues. They're realizing then, they need to go underground. That's right. They realize that they need to go to the catacombs. Mm -hmm. And so that's when they go on a tour. And they, yeah, they have all these maps and stuff that they're putting over. And that she's thinking that she needs to go, what is it, 147? Yeah. Or 740 yeah. So, feet so below ground? Because apparently... The devil's number is 740 something. 741, I think. And so she was like, so half of that, 300 and something, 65.5 is like where the stone will be. Mm -hmm. So they have to go below into the earth. And then that's when Benji's like, how the hell are we going to do that? Yeah. And, then, and they're thinking it's below Flamel's grave. <laughs> and when they put the map of the catacombs over where Flamel was supposed to have been buried, they realized that, oh, fuck, that doesn't line up. Mm -hmm. But then with the... There were three major collapses Gosh, that happened. Shout out to George for knowing this part of history. Yes, that happened. Um, and essentially where, now I don't know if this is actually true, but for the plot of the movie, it's great. Um, essentially, the city kind of swallowed up. Yeah. Which I feel like kind of comes back into play with the car scene later. Oh, yeah. Um, but the city swallows up and Just buries. Like a sinkhole. Yeah. But, but like, not. But yeah. like buried. Yeah. And that's when Benji goes, well, how could... And one, like the third one happened pretty close to Flamel's grave. Mm. And then he's like, how could, how could it collapse if it's if it supposed to be ground. solid ground? But obviously there's something, a hidden chamber underneath. Mm -hmm. And that's what they come to the conclusion of. And so now they're like, well, we got to get down there. We got to get down there. And so, so they do go on the tour. Yeah. They go on the little tour of the catacombs. I was about to say the cataracts and the catacombs. <laughs> and, um. But there's six million corpses down there. Yeah. That also in itself, Bodies. like I, I, I know of the catacombs, but like. I wish I knew the actual, like, do you know, like, why there are so many bodies down there? Or they just exhumed that many, like, that many dead I guess, people I don't from know. graves and Yeah, cemeteries. they said they were stinky. Yeah, so they so just they they exhumed them, them and they put them underground. Yeah. But that's also, like, it's so crazy to me. Like, that is, there's just so many bodies. I just imagine that, that uh, during some sort of war or plague or something, right. there were just so many, like, and probably mass graves. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna, I don't so actually I'm gonna have know to history. Brush up my history on that. <laughs> it's actually super intriguing to me. Yeah. And excuse me, I want to go. Yes, <laughs> I would oh, really like too. to go. I would 110 like, go. If I ever go to France, Paris, because it's under Paris, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would definitely love to go. Over like 200, like caves, like cave system. Like, yeah, it's pretty fucking cool. Like, although the entire idea of caves are terrifying, uh, yeah, really, because it's so do, dangerous. Yeah. No, I mean, I don't, that. they don't bother me. I will 110% still go into them. <laughs> <laughs> I want to like, go cave diving. It is a scary thought to think about, you know? Like, yeah. Because, like, I mean, as uh, Su Suxi, Suxi is saying later on, you know, pretty much if any of these little things go wrong, you're dead. And it's very minor things, but it's like you are dead. Yeah, if your mm -hmm. batteries go out on your light, if you don't have any water or food, I mean, obviously you're... You're I just you're kind of fucked. The thought of, like, being underground... Or it's so fucking dark and have no light. Mm -hmm. It's very claustrophobic. Yeah, and like you're just lost forever then. Like, yeah. yeah. That's it. Like yeah. Lights out, you're dead. Just uh, waste away. Literally. I don't know. Unless Ratma, Ratma gets too. you. Ratma. <laughs> All hell Ratma. <laughs> um, but yeah, so they go 
through there, she borderline knows more than this fucking tour guide yeah. saying all the fun, like little things about it, mm-hmm. about what the walls says and all that. And then they're like, we need to get through. And then there's just conveniently this weird ass fucking man yes. sitting there going, you need to find Papillon. Like, Go find Papillon. I don't know what that accent was. I'm sorry. I but liked it. <laughs> I really liked it. I was actually. stuck on my house in Gaga. The Gucci. Uh, house of Gucci. House, house of Gaga. Gucci. <laughs> Father, son. House of Gucci. Gucci. We'll also be covering that horror movie. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what a horror. But essentially, they're told they need to find Papillon. Yes. And, um, but, and then, but also, too, so this guy who appears out of nowhere and tells them they need to find Papillon. And then the Papi. tour guide the, the tour guide comes back and is like, please follow, please rejoin the group. Mm-hmm. And then they look back and he's gone. So, so it's like already we're starting with the like, the f- like you know they're being led yeah down there the they're s- literally being like called and mm-hmm. herded yeah down there throughout the entire film that's like it's very true what happens and so that's the start of it yeah and so after this we go on the search for papillon we flash to some fun france nightclubs yes which i i was like digging the vibe that looked yeah i mean i was like okay and i also feel like kind of every found effect. food Foot, not every found footage, but I feel like that's a very kind of almost standard scene now for so a lot of found footage. Scene. Yeah. Mm. Like we were just kind of walking through it. Or like strobe lights, dark mm-hmm. lights kind of thing. People just like, yeah, y'all can't see what I'm doing, but I'm dancing. Yeah. yeah. I liked it. It was, it was a cool scene though. Yeah. Um, but this is where we first get weird ghost girl. Yeah. I don't know. That she, sees. I just thought maybe she was like a weird model at first and then she just kept popping up. And, and it's the way like, that oh, she right. also just like, she makes eye contact with that camera. She's Every just like time. looking at you mm-hmm. in your soul. She's, she is like, bitch, I'm going to kill you. She rap my literally got to her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She gives She's me friend the words. Mm-hmm. She has a little baby or something later. And so uh, we get inside and uh, we go through the club and she finds Papillon, mm-hmm. who is chilling with his girlfriend, Su- Suxi, 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 Suxi. Was that Suxi there? It was. She was there next to him. So, oh, okay. So, yeah. yeah, I didn't realize who that was. Whenever uh, you know, uh, Scarlet is like, we we were told that you could get us into the catacombs and show us around and he's like do i look like a tour guide she's like do i look like a tourist and she's literally Bitch. for real <laughs> she pulls out the map well, this is what i'm looking for so she's essentially tells him like we know of like a chamber that nobody has ever been to and there's treasure there's treasure, treasure there and that really intrigues uh papillon and then he's like can i have it and half, <laughs> half of it i can have please can i have half of it and money she, please and she's like <laughs> You can have all of it, but I love the way that George comes. He's, like, uh-uh. in the, he's just like, no, you can have half. Half is fine. Half is fine. Half is fine. <laughs> um, we can at least get some of this for ourselves. For real. She's like, I just want the information, the which stone. I just want the truth. Yeah. Literally the yeah. last words of the movie. And so uh, we, I guess essentially he agrees. Yeah. And we cut to the next day. I don't know why I wrote this, but I was like, George is like so very clearly in love with Scarlett. Oh, yeah. He is obsessed with her. It's the way that... Just any part. Well, he's even just this, like, yeah, and even like in this beginning part where it's like, he keeps obviously saying, "I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go down there. I'm not gonna." But like, is literally. But he keeps going, going <laughs> the entire, and I'm just like, "Oh my god!" This boy. Yes, you are, sir. What does happen? Curiosity got the best of you. Definitely. He wants to know, and he ain't about to leave her alone. He's like, "Oh fuck, I got her back again." Right. I can't go. I can't go. Uh, leaving her alone. Don't go um, breaking my heart. <laughs> essentially then we get to the van scene um where we meet the rest of the crew so we get an official introduction mm-hmm. to Suxi Suk- and then zed. zed and zed's not dead yep and papillon and them are uh rapping yeah got some beatboxing. And, and then he gives his de niro, de niro impression, impression yeah. um so it's just kind of like they're just shooting the shit yeah shooting they're the having shit. fun it, it kind of humanizes them that's what i was thinking too as like they're trying to give you like something to like care about these characters i guess yeah like, oh, he's a little funnier he's cute, like adorable yeah. yeah and then um suksi is letting us know like pretty much about all the complications she's saying like you know if, again as your if your batteries go out and you don't have light you're dead. you're dead if you lose your food you're dead if you get injured you're dead yeah. like no uh, matter what she's like is it you're dangerous dead. and she's like heck yeah <laughs> is it dangerous I live yes in danger. it's dangerous <laughs> And so um, it's uh, the way that they are getting all their gear up. They're kind of all meeting each other's situation. And then 
They um, are not discreet about going underground. No, not it's the way, and it's the way they're like. We have to do this quick. If the police see us, we'll all be in big trouble. And it's the way that <laughs> in the mid daylight, mid daylight, just like like you're going pull, underground. The time doesn't yeah, matter. Pulling back a fence, like mm-hmm. oh, that is true, right? Why did when did they have done that at night? Yeah, that is yeah. Now that dumb. I think about it, <laughs> now that I think about it, they were they were ready. And the way that happen. Poppy is like standing, I'm gonna call him Poppy. Yeah. Poppy. Uh, He's just standing there, like at the fence. Like he looks so shady. Yeah, his like little eyes. He's like looking he's around. Like, you next, you next. And obviously, y'all look like y'all are up to no good. Yeah, and they all have backpacks on. Yeah, like someone clearly ended up reporting them. Uh, um, so they get to uh, the catacombs, mm-hmm. um, the entrance at least, and the, so they're all putting on like their little light headbands, and and we have the um, oh wait, not yet. And so it's uh, at that point where uh, <clears throat> even Benji is still like, I'm I'm not going down there. I'm just going to take you as far as like, you know, George, George. Sorry, my yes. bad, George. Um, uh, you know, I'm just going to only go so far. But um, they end up going into the little entrance of the catacombs and they're like, we're going to go through this little hole right here. Yeah. So they're in essentially they're in a railway, um, mm-hmm. a train tunnel yeah. is where they are. And we get the important scene of Papillon tagging his name on the wall because that does come into play a little bit at the beginning um and benji's now also installed cameras on some of their headlamps Mm -hmm. which is very helpful for angles (laughs) the film other perspectives yeah get a little bit of first person pov pov um but yes they're they found this little tiny hole and Mm -hmm. they're like are you fucking kidding me yeah like this this is where we're going down okay okay um yeah, especially was it Benji or someone? I remember one of them was just like, "What?" Yeah, I think yeah. it was Benji. Yeah. Benji was probably Benji the whole time was kind of like, "Are you fucking kidding me? All Are you fucking kidding me?" Yeah. <laughs> like, oh yeah, especially here in a minute. And so uh, yeah, it's the way that they're about to go down the hole, and then Papillon, right? He gets fucking sacked, and that's yeah, that's like a like the that was like a scare. football tackle. And, 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 it was like and, boom. Yeah, and it's also a jump scare, so it's yeah. kind of like. Because out of nowhere, all of a sudden, just, there's just, just chaos. Literally. And that, that happens a lot through the film, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, and so they, yeah, he gets sacked. And then everybody's like, go through the hole, go, go through the hole, get away. Because they're trying to get away from those police officers. Mm-hmm. And then it forces George, George to go to underground go with there. them. Because George ain't going back to jail. Mm-hmm. If, he's going to do a lot of things, but he's not going back to jail. Yeah. And he's now underground. And we figure out why he uh, is not a fan. Of being in a cave. Yes, that's right. And, and it's because... And it's the way that, like, Scarlet's a wh- horrible fucking friend. Yeah. <laughs> like, just her. come on. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So and she, he's she, got some serious trauma. His litter... Br- litter. His little brother drowned in a cave with, when he was younger. Yeah, well, then he was with him. So he shares that experience, that mm-hmm. trauma. But he's the one that made it out alive. So I'm sure there's, like, so much... There's like, got to be so much guilt. Survivor guilt. Like, just trauma. He just says, himself. like... Hit my little brother died like waiting for me to come back and mm. like that's not his fault like i mean he literally he was pinned yeah from what it sounds like and i don't yeah. it's sad it definitely not his fault yeah and it's also but too, i can understand how he yeah and that's pins why i'm just like himself. also thinking i'm like scarlet's like the damn hoe like what like yeah. are you kidding me you knew that's all some, of like, this serious trauma yeah and it's like because it's like she knew this, and then because Benji's like, "Wait, why is he like? Why? Why did I say something wrong? Yeah, because he was like, you really don't like caves, man, do you? Yeah, and then that's whenever she tells Benji, and it's the way that she delivers it, like just so nonchalantly. Oh, yeah, you didn't know. His, his, you didn't know. It's fine. His little brother died, though. It's okay. That's like casual. It's okay. If it's not someone directly in relation to her, she doesn't seem to actually care. <laughs> yeah, like when Suxi dies. Um, oh yeah. Spoiler, spoiler alert! Spoiler alert, you guys. Um, and so, uh, yeah, we get. Uh, more. George is freaking out, George rightfully is, so. George, George is, yeah, not having a good time. He's not having fun. He's having like a panic attack, essentially. Yeah. And then mild. Yeah. They are like he's definitely like hyperventilating and stuff. And then they they start going into the cave. Yep. So there's no choice, only to go further. Mm-hmm. So um, they go down. They're um, Walking for a bit, right? Yeah, they're and walking for a good amount of time. They see Papillon's signature. That's right. Mm-hmm. Um, his it's little like tag. Classic pop. Yep. <laughs> He's like, pop, pop. He smacks the wall. And then he just like casually goes like, hot candles. Means people are down here. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. And they walk past those women, right? Yes. Which was super. The weird chanting, singing. And that I think that that's the ghost girl. Yeah, yeah she, she was, was the lead them. girl. Yes. Leading them. 
but and so like her obviously eyes are, like, they're, painted they're, red. they're all ghosts right it's or like dead. a cult yeah they're all dead there's no way that that's just random people they're just like or maybe they're just they're, actual people like they're cultists yeah yeah and they're actual. like trying to lead people into hell Who, maybe and they're getting eternal be. life but it's the way know. that i'm just like how are we like that is so terrifying to think of going to a cave system that you think like, oh, I'm alone. But then you get there, there's like some other fucking place. There's like six people there and they're doing some weird shit. Yeah, some ritualistic weird. like. Because it was like this weird chanting that turned into like some very like um, almost dissonance, but then not singing. Uh-huh. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it sounded, it actually sounded really cool. <laughs> it just was terrifying. Yeah, like, I mean, if I was very, experiencing like, it. Gregorian chant. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you know. yeah. Mm-hmm. It was, it was interesting, and uh, yeah, we're ghost girls there. And, and it's the way that like yeah, Pop is just like oh yeah, there's, uh, there's some happens weird every pe- day. We're some weird people down here. Don't mind them. It's yeah. Okay. They don't, they don't want to mess with us. Casual. And so um yeah, they're going further. Um, remind me again, is this like? So they get to the point where essentially they have to decide which way to go, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's option one is crawl over bones. Mm-hmm. Or option two is go through bad tunnel tunnel that has been boarded deemed, up yeah. and deemed evil. Yeah. And uh, Papillon says like that tunnel is bad. Like that tunnel is evil. Like bad. Like people go in that tunnel. And people who return. go in that tunnel don't come out. Yeah, and that's when we get the little story, which comes. In, it's important because that's when he's like, they have a friend who was called Letoot, right? Hey. Le, what's his name? Letoot. Letop. Letop. Letoot. 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 Uh, let's hope. Sorry, which and literally translates to the mole. The mole, yeah, because they're like we had this friend. He was the mole, and he basically lived down here, and mm-hmm. he, he knew ne- every neck of cr- mm-hmm. cranny of that place, but he didn't know, or never went down that because evil, he knew it was evil uh, corridor, or whatever. Yeah, and so, but then one day he just had to go, and they yeah, had, people they had, I think were pressuring him is kind of what it. Probably. felt like he said like people kept saying well you have to you have to and yeah so he went and then he was never seen again yep. and for like two years this motherfucker has yeah, supposedly missing. been missing and so uh that comes into play really really heavily here in a minute mm-hmm. and so uh they're kind of scarlet and poppy are having a little bit of like a you know dispute about like well we're gonna go this way or i'm gonna go that way and so like ultimately they just decide to follow poppy on down mm-hmm. the Bone, bone tunnel. <laughs> tunnel that's not the evil tunnel yeah somehow that's better benji benji not about it benji's not about it he's like, he's like i gotta I climb do up not these bones. do this no and Which, i mean it's very tight like there's not that much space you the way he said you bones. have to crawl over it so you don't get cut by the bones both by the yeah. bones and i was like mm. i didn't know bones could cut you like that i imagine they're pretty, they're pretty strong, strong huh? right i mean they keep us up right all the time yeah and if they yeah. was a little splintered or something i imagine yeah. that shit could cut you Ooh. yeah I don't know. Shank me I mean, don't people use like bones, bones as that's knives? Right, knives, right? Yeah, yeah. You're right. Uh, so I guess it could easily. I, just, cut I, go, you. I guess I never think about that. I guess I, I also don't ever. Why don't really you think th- about bone knives all the time? I, I don't. I don't <laughs> also think about crawling over bones. Uh, I think yeah. that's the more thing. Mm. And you would think like because I mean that's an actual knife, so it's like sculpted yeah, to be sharp, or sharpened. Whatever. And these are literally just like humors and like There's tibias a bunch of femurs. and well, you know, arms. And I legs. didn't see many hip bones. Yeah. No. Not, a lot of a lot of skulls and femurs. Mike, did they put your hip bone in there? <laughs> <laughs> he said yes. <laughs> um, um, and so yeah, they're cr- climbing over these bones. They're all kind of getting through it, and then Zed plays a Zed's a dick, and oh, he plays that little right. trick on him. That like he's getting taken by something. Or yeah, something and then he's got like, him. I'm just fucking with y'all. And which like Benji's didn't the help main poor one who's Benji. Like, that is not cool, man. Yeah. And so um, they're going through it, and uh, poor Benji. I mean, he already did not want to do it, but he gets it doesn't not that he gets caught, but like it starts collapsing. Well, or, no, he does get caught. So the way that okay. he moved his body, that essentially the he kind of like scooped the bones up yeah. too far, and that's why uh, Scarlet is telling him to move backwards, so yeah. that way he can flatten out the bones again. So essentially, he did get okay caught, but then it also does start collapsing. Yes, and as he's stuck, the weird so singing fast. comes back. Yeah. And Benji starts like hyperventilating. And he's like, tell them to shut the fuck up. Like, why yeah. are they singing? <laughs> he's just not having it. It's not his day. No. And he says like something bit him. That's and right. Stuff, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which has got to be like terrifying. So because he was the last person yeah. going so through. Like, nothing should be behind me or nothing should be. Yeah. And then hearing that singing coming from behind you and not being able to see what's happening back there. Yeah. Terrifying. 
it would you be I'm 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 a middle person. I would always think of like I gotta have two people ahead of me, two people behind me. I'm uh-huh. not gonna be the first person, I'm not gonna be the last person. I'm, like where would like where would you place yourself? When I go hiking and everything, I'm always the first person. The first person? Yeah. Mm. I like to I like to see. But then like also like with snakes, if you're mm. hiking and stuff, yeah. The first person like wakes it up, disturbs it, the second person gets bit. <laughs> bite. See, yeah. I hate So I sacrifice everyone else. <laughs> I, you know what? <laughs> okay, Scarlet. Get behind me. <laughs> um so I usually yeah, if I ever go hiking with someone, I'm probably first, and I hate being first secretly. And so sometimes I like, I'm like, no, you go ahead, you go and lead, um, because they walk into the spider webs first. Uh, that's true. I hate fucking spider webs. Yeah, I hate. We just need to get you a little webs. torch, something, to yeah, burn them all up. A machete, a bone <laughs> knife. Da, da, yep, Christmas. a bone knife. There we go. <laughs> Anyways, Benji's stuck. The tunnel does start collapsing, yes. and they are forced very quickly through to the other end. Mm-hmm. Which ends up being uh, where they started crawling in at. Exactly, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that's when they're like, Papian especially is like, this is this is not right. No, like, this, it's not yeah. how it should have gone. Obviously, because he's been through it before. Mm-hmm. And essentially, uh, I f- to me, it feels like the tunnels are changing. Yeah, like oh, Harry Potter once yeah. again. We're getting the staircase. Everything's mm-hmm. changing. Um, and so, things are being manipulated around yeah. them. And. and like forcing their hand essentially to where they want to be go, where mm-hmm. they're being led to. Yes, they are forced to go into the evil tunnel. The evil tunnel, and also too, I think that scene also set up um, for what comes into play later. Um, Scarlet, George, and Benji's already like mistrust of mm-hmm. Papillon, like of like you, you don't, you said you knew, but you really don't know where you're going, or this or that, or and then yeah, and then they get into the tunnel and they see pops. Poppy's tag, tag on, the wall. on the wall. And then and they're, they're like, like, you fucking what the liar. Fuck? You said yeah. you've never gone down here. And he's like, I haven't. Like, I've never been here. And yeah. So, and yeah. it's he, uh, <laughs> what George says, like, it's just so people are just randomly spray painting your name, your name. on the wall. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh huh. Like, yeah. they don't believe it. They, they weren't having a shit. And then, right in these moments where they're like trying to figure this out, that's whenever the, the ring, right? Yes, yes. The phone starts ringing. And, uh, I, I wrote, like, I remember the first time that I heard that scene yeah. and, like, watched it. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, uh-uh. No, at that time, too, I'm going to be like, I'm out. Yeah. No, like, this is, there's no, nothing is worth Because then they, like, tried out. to kind of explain it away. Like, there were yeah, some phone like, well, lines. well, the telephone lines used to run down here. And then they were like, but in the 50s, they took them all out. Yeah, or so, the 70s or something. Yeah. and So it, there's no way that could have been happening it's the way that he finishes that line and then the phone rings uh-huh. and it's like perfect timing and it's also uh it is literally calling I, them into the tunnel oh i didn't think about it that way it but is it like is calling them it really is um i like the placement of how like that line did it that he delivered and then like the phone rings mm-hmm. also i didn't mention earlier but there's when they were at the bell tower and he first benji or no george first fixed those bells and he's talking to her and they're looking out in the crowd the bell stops like belling <laughs> um, right as he delivers his last line to her. And I just mm. like, like the way that like in that scene, I just like the way that that sound production made that work. Yeah. I don't know. Um, so back to this over here. Yeah. They're, they go down and they're following the, the telephone ring and they see a phone. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, no, not yet. Not they. Yeah. That's they've right. not yeah. They, it's when they found it. The piano. Yeah. So they, they get to, the they get a, get to a little plaque. And um, this is where the collapses come back into play. Yes. And he goes, this is where one of the collapses happened and um, where they were kind of talking. Mm-hmm. And he was like, literally hundreds of people yeah. fell to their death right here, right where we're standing. And then 50 more, the people who went to rescue them all disappeared as yeah. well. So essentially there should just be a fuck ton of bodies down there, which I guess, I mean, there are, but yeah. like, I Do you think know. they're all ghosts or demons? Maybe. Or like, yeah. I mean... That's just crazy to think about, too. Like, a whole ass, like, imagine you're just minding your business and then psh, dead. Just, yes. Or just in, in the, the ground. ground. And maybe if you don't die that instantly, like, you're then just there suffering mm-hmm. underground in the dark. That's it's crazy. so scary. Yeah. But, yes, then they find the piano. And they were like, they were like, how'd they get a piano down here? And then someone was like, maybe it fell in the collapse. And I was like, there's no there's way. There's no way that it would still be intact. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, the that's same. the only thing perfectly placed up against the wall. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> No. It's the way that it's the same with the telephone wires. Like, there's no rationalizing this, you guys. This yeah. is some, like... This is just weird. shit. And so, um, it's the way that 
uh, George is the one that's called to the piano, and he's like, he's like, we have the same exact piano. When I was a little kid, with me and Danny used to play this song. My Bonnie lies over the ocean. That's such a weird name for a song. Um, Did you know? A, Do you know? Yes, that song? I know that song. What is it? The it's it's like a Scottish um oh. song, and and we had to sing it a lot in choir. Oh, that's interesting. Stuff. Um, it's like my Bonnie lies over the ocean. My Bonnie lies over the sea. And that's the, where the A4 key comes yes. in. Because he's like, we had the same one. We can never finish the song because the A4 key was, was fucked, up. fucked up. And I was like, well, this one's going to be fucked up too. And show enough. He plays the little song. And then the C is out. And yeah. he's like, <gasps> and then it, he's kind of like, what the fuck's going on? Yeah. And I was like, yeah, that's, that's some real fucking trippy shit. Yeah. At that point, I would have been like, no. And so their the past is they're, they're dropping them. little yeah. clues that the, their past is coming back to haunt them. Um, just constantly these little things are being um, sprinkled in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then the phone rings again. That's right. Scarlet bolts. Scarlet's like, I'm, I'm going to go this answer line. this goddamn phone. Yeah. <laughs> she runs off. She does. Everyone's like, what the? Scarlet. Scarlet like, does that a couple times later yeah. too. Yeah. Um, and so no regard for anyone else gets to, or even her own life. Yes. I mean, um, gets to the telephone. Mm-hmm. She found the phone. It's a little red, like old time phone. Mm-hmm. Like that has like, you know, the cord and everything. And a little, did it have one of those dial? I think it was a dial. Yeah. yeah. Those little spinny <sighs> dials. They're so cool. They are. Why are they so cool to me? I don't know. They're cute. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how to even use one. You got to go to the number and then you wind it back each back. time. And then, and you go. That's yeah. so much work. It is a lot of work. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to call. As you. compared to like, like when you're dying back then and trying to call someone to like save mm-hmm. your life, like, oh, fuck. But <laughs> like imagine, like I can only imagine like doing like the wrong number would be such fuck, a fucking I put nine yeah. one two. <laughs> what do you do? Do you just like and then go again? Like that's yeah, so crazy. I guess so. Um, and so yeah, she finds it. She picks up, and um, there's a voice on the other end, and. Saying essentially, uh, why why won't you talk to me, Scarlet? Yeah. Why won't you talk to me? And I, at this point, you can kind of infer that yeah. it's her father, um, but I don't know if you would because at first you don't really realize that that hanging person was yeah. her dad. Because that's something that we know after the fact now of watching the film. Yeah, so you, and so you are like, hmm, like what? This is definitely a film that I'm like, trying to remember how I felt when I first watched that. Watched twice because I, was, I mean I watched it in 2014 the first mm-hmm. time. And I'm trying to remember, like, how, because now going into it, I mean, I already knew what I knew. So yeah. I'm like, oh, that's obviously her dad's voice. But yeah, I don't. But regardless, if you're just fucking answering a phone in the cave system underneath where there should be no phones and you just hear someone saying, why would not you fucking talk to me? Like, yeah, that's and you hear your as, name. That's, yeah, that's like, why fucking creepy as fuck. Does someone or something know your name? Something. That's, yeah, not, that's a, it would red be flag. unsettling. Red yes. phone, red flag. All red. Scarlet. Her fucking name is Scarlet. <laughs> yep. And that also comes into play with the stone being red and the her being the stone. And then her being covered in blood later? Mm-hmm. Mm. So, anyways. I think about that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I wrote wow. that note down. Um, but Latope, Latoot yeah. La- comes back. Latoot pops up out of nowhere. And, and they were it's like. how creepy he looks when he's like right there behind the rock. He's like, you should not be here. Yeah. yeah. He looks like a mole. Yeah. Like, and this was the part that really, I was like, this reminds me of Ratma in 94. Yeah. And his eyes were like, they gave him like the big black contacts, like you're right. Mm-hmm. Cause they were like way They looked dark. way dilated cause yeah. he's been underground. That's, oh, and he's seeing all the light. nocturnal and stuff. That's like, true. <gasps> like those little blind. cute uh, marsupials that have the big eyes mm-hmm. and they're like. Yeah. yeah. That was him. <laughs> a mole. He was a mole. Yeah. And so. Um, Which is not a marsupial. Sorry. <laughs> he, they. Or saying like he, he yeah like they're shocked to see yeah. him right like he's still alive what the fuck and then Papillon's like you've been down here like for whatever and then um, he's saying they shouldn't be here and then he's saying for two years y'all never searched for me for two yeah. years no one came and it's like oh shit yeah. so maybe that's a little bit of their past coming back too yeah for I feel that do you feel like maybe it's also maybe even more of Suxies because yeah. I mean we're that you know mm-hmm. kind yeah. of thing yeah so we they essentially start following Latoot mm-hmm. because um 
he, obviously homeboy's been down here and he's like y'all are trying to get out right yeah i'll he show says, you the way and the only way out is down he's going says. down and you know which makes sense but also too it's the way that i'm like why the fuck would are you we listen to following this? the guy who never got out yeah about how to get out yeah exactly <laughs> like it doesn't just, the make logic sense. is not there also no way homeboy could have been alive for two years yeah obviously like, there is like he is not normal uh-huh he is either a ghost or a demon or being used by a demon. Like, that's just no longer his body. It's just the shell mm-hmm. kind of thing. Um, so, yeah. essentially, he leads them to that little opening. And is like, we have to go down to go. And go essentially, out. it looks like a well. Yeah. yeah it's a well, basically. Mm-hmm. Uh, like a little chute. And he's saying, like, they have to go down. And, I mean, they throw a little rock. They hear it hit the bottom. And then like they we can get down. Yeah, that. so they set up their equipment. Thankfully, they had equipment, and they have these ropes that they use to start climbing down and rappel down. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, and then Benji, we get a little bit of foreshadowing mm. into his death. Yes, um, and he falls down the well while still holding on to the rope. So mm-hmm. the his hands get fucked. This is the way his that clip like breaks. I would his what his little clip. No, I'm kidding. Oh, That's his clip. <laughs> It broke. His clit got broken. <laughs> Smashed. Um, R.I.P. And so, uh, yeah, it's the way that, man, oh, I can't imagine the feeling. I've never done that before. Have you had, like, ropes, like, burn, cut your hand like that? Uh, no, because I, I am terrible at climbing ropes. Mm. Like, at the end, when Scarlett has to, like, go all the way up that rope by herself, I was like, I could never. Oh. I could literally never do that. Yeah. My also, we never had, like, gym class or anything where, where they made us do climb that, ropes. Like, how they do in movies and films yeah. and TV shows. Also, that like, has to have been, like, so dangerous. That, You're, like, you, letting a kid climb. Climb to the ceiling. What if they let go and fell? Yeah, it like, sounds like a head injury or death about to happen. Yeah, like broken bones. How did the school not have more lawsuits? I don't know. And so um, they rappel down. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Benji <laughs> falls almost. Was George already? George was still in the middle of it, right? Mm-hmm. Still yeah, he, to get down. he yeah, basically yeah. falls onto George's on George's head. Yeah. As if the McCrispy couldn't get any better. Bacon and Ranch just entered the chat. The Bacon Ranch McCrispy. Available at participating McDonald's for a limited time. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. And then um Thankfully they, that's what saves him yeah. in that moment. And is, then they yeah. Shout out to George. Yeah. And then they finally get to the bottom. And then it's kind of like this open chamber room. And yeah, and they are having to crawl over some sort of like um it, it's like a little water system. That's right. That's right. Um, it, well, I don't know what. There's yeah, like a. I couldn't. This was. Was this the part where they stopped hearing, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, so it gets all muffled. It sounds essentially like they're all underwater. It's and, kind of. And the it's vibe the way that gaming. they're all looking at each other because they all feel it, hear it, not hear it. They're like, I, I can't hear you, mm-hmm. you know? Um, and the movie, too, does good of like m- making the sounds that are happening right now sound underwater and muffled Mm -hmm. and then it's very inaudible and then we get chaos yeah there's this like weird ear shattering kind of rumbling slash Uh alarm that all of a sudden goes off and it um it forces them to run forces them to run deeper into the cave is essentially what's happening but before while that's all happening too they see the little boy right Mm -hmm. we get a little glimpse of a little boy some little ghost boy who you can assume is that george's brother so, do you know what I thought? Um, because George's brother was the one that later on we see him mm-hmm. come into play. But I didn't think that was George's brother. I think that's Zed's kid. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I always thought it was George's brother. Just because, but, I mean, but who knows? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not a dowdle. They just saw, <laughs> they see a little boy though. Um, and then Latope, like, they they go, what the hell was that? And he was like, like, not not what was that, but who? Why is that? Yeah. Why is Gamora? Ooh. And so that's pretty pretty unsettling. But they are now into this room in which the the puzzle comes back into play, the Mm -hmm. original one, where we are now, it says, a winged vulture leads your way. Yes. And they find... And this was very, like, fucking national treasure. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So they find this inscription... On the wall, which has the winged vulture, and they do some other things. There's a 
Ptolemaic hinge. Yeah. And AKA the way she was describing it at first, I was like, that just sounds like a fucking booby trap. Yeah. But it was a way that in Egypt, they would hide the tombs, hide the tombs yes, and of their king, pharaohs. Yeah. And so that way, um, mm. if you knew and were like smart enough, I guess, and knew like you were supposed to be in there, you could gain access. But mm-hmm. if you weren't, so that way any wrong have... move would kill you. Yeah. Um, it would cover you in rubble. Because like what? Pharaohs used to bury themselves with their treasures and stuff and mm-hmm. all their riches. So people would want to go steal. Yeah. And I, I really, I really enjoy the amount of like the history and stuff like that's yeah. like all the, when they're like Copernicus and talking about the solar system and which parts had been discovered. Mm-hmm. And like at that point in time, the sun and the moon were considered planets, but the earth wasn't. And that's right. They were like, at, at this point, only six had been discovered. And then. After everything, it's seven. You get all these like tidbits of information. Um, and seven is the amount that seven, they need to pull the seventh stone in order mm, to make yes. this Ptolemaic hinge. And that's happen. what they do. Yep. Pull the stone out and then. Uh, uh, and I don't know how accurate any of that information is, but <laughs> right. I was a fan of it. I was like, sold. Yeah. I believe you. And then the little tomb, they have a little tomb open. Mm-hmm. Um, I was like, Jesus in here. That's something. literally what I thought of because it was like the circle thing that. And it just rolls Easter, away. Easter, you, you know, yep. you hear every Easter. And Sunday. you put Jesus in that little hole. Um, Sto- I'll put stone rolled away <laughs> like Jesus or some shit. Yeah, literally. That's, that was my thought as well. And then we uh, get into it. Yeah. And there <laughs> is uh, Nicholas Mel's body mm-hmm. and laying they, on a, a slab. And. Perfectly preserved. Yeah. Like, I mean, he's dead, but it's like. And has been no, for 700 yeah, years. There's no rotting or like anything. Like, like I he mean, looks. He don't look alive, but mm-hmm. he don't look He looks dead. a little gray. Yeah, but he's not he needs, rotted. He needs yeah. some like glow drops or something. Just a little bit. His, a little Fenty Beauty. Just yeah. a little, uh, what is Highlight. Gla- glossier. Glossier, yeah. Glossier, my bad. <laughs> glossier, I'm learning. Um, but they see, so not only is Flamel there, they also see the word vitriol. Yes. Which is. Essentially, meaning the as I as above, so below. It's the mm-hmm. like That's alchemy the alchemist, um, kind of saying word. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like say, saying of alchemy. I don't know. And mm-hmm. then it essentially goes to the as above, so below. As I see the world, it Something. is how I perceive it, which comes back into play later. Yes. Um, but <laughs> this is where Benji again is like, because she's like um, the darkest light in. Or the brightest light and darkest day. Yes. Or something like that. The clue. And so she asked everybody to turn off their lights. Mm -hmm. Their headlamps. And Benji's like, I didn't turn on my headlamps. There's a dead body right here. Like, he's like, no. Are you fucking crazy? And then two points later, everybody's like, they're off. (laughs) Yes. And then she, they see a little glowing light coming from, which is what is basically like a little water. uh, Yeah, like a little. Pocket. I don't even know, like a a puddle, basically, but not. And so um, a It was a. It was like, I mean, it was like a dug. I'm, it was purposely made. Yeah. Yeah. It was dug out. There was water on it. And then um, she, they see this glowing light coming from the bottom. So she starts pulling out rocks with Papillon. Mm-hmm. And then it's the way at this point too, where I was like, she, Scarlet, just be taken off. And like, it's, I'm going to go. And they're like, no, no, but. And like three seconds later, she's already in the water. Yeah. And you get the same because you don't know. What's you don't that? know where it leads to. Well, you you could be underwater the whole time yeah, and that's just die. Thinking. Literally. I'm like, you don't know how much air you need to have you don't know like where hopefully she can hold her breath for three minutes like deep house lady deep house girl i guess i guess she can because she gets through yeah i don't think it's that long of a swim no (laughs) and so they get to the other side and it's this everybody comes in and it's a room um that has you know treasures Treasures. behind a bar yes Um, like uh what would you call that like a think like it almost looks like a gel cell think of a gel cell but filled with treasures Mm -hmm. and so uh, we're in the, Green Gods now. We're in Green Gods, literally all the callbacks. <laughs> and so um, Bellatrix's uh, vault. Mm-hmm. And so they, oh, and then uh, what's her name? Scarlet and George see the, what is it? Like a, a mural? Yeah, I, I want to say it's a mural. Essentially inscriptions. Um, uh, the love between the sun. The sun. Or no, the, the love between the sky and the earth there we go yes and, and so the birth of the sun and how they were pushed apart and could only touch by the tips of their toes and, and their, their fingers hands. yeah and so um every day she gives birth to the sun and then at night swallows him back up i liked that i thought was that was real poetic beautiful um beautiful. And so um they 
she's deciphering all this and that and then they see the stone right and the mural and so she takes mm -hmm. it out it's the sun being swallowed back up yeah takes the stone out and then at the same time papillon and i guess said they're trying to break into the treasure yeah they're trying to get the treasure so they're breaking like the the metal bars like the, the thing that clearly mm -hmm. says stay out yeah <laughs> and so um because it's there for a reason mm -hmm. and so and um, too late, she realizes mm -hmm. the treasures are a trap. Yeah, literally, because she's like, it's a trap. And then as soon as they pull that shit down, the whole room starts uh, <laughs> collapsing. Yeah. Whatsoever. Yeah. And they are so covered in rubble. That's where everybody's just like, freaking out, trying to like make sure everyone's okay. And then we see that um, Susie, Suxi, is, they have to pull her out of the rocks because mm -hmm. she's got buried she got by them trapped. a little bit. And she's got this gnarly, gnarly cut on her arm. Mm -hmm. And so. And at this point, they've lost all their packs in the yeah. mix, too. So they were like, do you have any first aid? And so they are now without first aid, no food, no batteries. And I put essentially everything Suxi had uh -huh. warned them about yeah. in the beginning. And I was like, also known as they're going to die. And it's funny because they were missing all that. But then at the beginning, she also said, and if you're injured, you die. And she was mm. the one uh -huh. that was injured. Yep. Yeah. So it really called it back. Like there's a, so many little callbacks mm -hmm. just throughout this. And it's the way that you do have to watch it as many times as I did. <laughs> because it's like, oh, I didn't even like. Yeah. If you're not yeah. paying attention, like for split second, you could have missed lose something that. so you lose that becomes rather important yeah. in the film, yeah. And or you're just going to be like, "What the fuck is going on?" Like, and so, um, which, which I still like. were kind of, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, they, uh, what were you going to say? You liked? Oh, I just, I, I <sighs> like movies that make you have oh, to yeah. think. Yeah, and so, like, I don't want just some mindless. I mean, sometimes I do, but like, I, I enjoy ones that really, like, you have to get into. You have the to movie. use your brain. You mm -hmm. have to like solve something that's going on. Um, she, they. But then, mm -hmm. so they say that the stone yes. has all these the powers. Healing powers, power, yep. whatever. So essentially, Scarlet just takes a little bit of the stone and like sprinkles it like, salt bay. like the salt bay, yeah, onto yeah. the <laughs> under her little wound, and then and then it heals, <laughs> yeah, and then that's when they're all like, "Whoa, like what the heck." Which I would be too. I mean, someone's arm just like magically heals in front of me. I mean, because that motherfucker was like borderline. Yeah, like I'm sure you could see the bone. And so that gets healed, and now they are. What happens at this point? They're, they're looking for a back door. That's right. They were like, "There's always there's another no way, way yeah. they would have built this with a trap, and then still not, not have, have a, a way, way out." out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is um, this is where I put roll credits because we find the image of yes. I'm assuming it's Flamel depicted. Mm -hmm. um, he looks like fucking Merlin or some shit. Yeah. Um, maybe a Stumbledore. And <laughs> <laughs> Both of them. Um, but this is where we get the, it is essentially the inscription, meaning as above, so below. And then she goes through saying all the different things. And this is where the, as I believe the world to be, so it is, yeah. comes really into play. And she says it right there. And they see this door carved on the ceiling uh, um, there were some sort of inscription that means door. And they were like, but why would they put that there? And then they put two and two together yeah. that, oh, like as a uh, above, so below. Yeah. And then there's a door. Below them. On the floor. Yeah. Floor door. Floor door. Floor door. And it's like, um, they got a, <laughs> who Poppy, Poppy is like, that's, we can't go down. Like we yeah. are at the base of the caves and she's like, bet bitch. And so she just starts whacking at it. Yeah. And then all the water starts going through. So she's Which like, I'm like, and it's the way that she's like, if we were done, da, 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 where's the water going? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Tell me about that. Huh? I'm right. You're wrong. <laughs> yeah. Um, and also like, okay, what, I'm imagining it's got, you know, that real like flaky rock mm -hmm. that, yeah, that breaks apart when you touch it. Yeah. And it's got like the little silver specks in it and stuff. Yeah. I'm imagining it had to be made of that shit or mm -hmm. something because Probably. she just bangs on it a few times and with a rock and it's away. like, yeah, <laughs> like a little eggshell or something. Not limestone. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, well, limestone does break apart, doesn't it? Uh, I like don't at know. Park, I think that's all lime. And like uh, when you like, it's like flagstone. And limestone like, is what the whole catacombs are made of. Yes. That's what it said. So. I guess, yeah, maybe it was. Anyways, I so no we break through it, and we, we're not geographists. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> geographists. Geography. <laughs> Geologists. Geologists, yes. <laughs> um, they they descend. They, so I was like, they, they have to descend further. Mm -hmm. And then they get to, um, 
a fun little inscription. Oh, the, yeah. And she's like, yo, can you read this? Conveniently, George of can course, read it. Right? All ye who enter Abandon here. Abandon all hope, ye who enter here. There we go. Which is known as the inscription over the gates of hell. Mm. And then she kind of goes in and she's like on her stomach. And then she looks back at him and he, she goes, and they should be made to crawl on their bellies to enter the kingdom of darkness. And George is like, yeah, that occurred to me too. Yeah. Like, can y'all just fuck already? For real. Yeah, uh, they were like, I mean, uh, high key, they were getting off on this info. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. I mean, it is really fucking cool. And so they uh, start crawling. Through, and Poppy's like, I'm the, not going in there. Are you oh, fucking yeah. kidding me? The gate to hell? And then he goes in there. Literally. That's everybody. You don't really have a choice. At this point. Because yeah. you either do something to try to get out or just sit there and die. Mm -hmm. You know? Exactly. And so they're crawling through, crawling through. And... At this point, that's they get when through and it's the same room. Yes, but that's now right. everything is upside flipped. down. Yes, everything's flipped. Oh, and did we mention earlier that we lost Latope in the rubble? Oh no, we didn't mention it. So Latope, Latope went bye bye. Went bye bye. Yeah, he's no longer poof, with him. Gone. But was he ever really with him though? Dun dun dun. Mm, we're about to find out. And so it's the way that they get into the room, and it's the complete opposite of mm -hmm. where they were before. That little treasure room. So that's whenever Scarlet starts noticing that, like, oh, it's a reflection of yeah, what we're like, just in. Yeah, she's like, this is Everything is upside down. And yeah. I love here Pop Poppy asks, he goes, are we dead? Yeah. And <laughs> I was like, no, nah, yeah, but you yeah. um, And Scarlet's like, no, we're not dead. And so that's when she has But like that, I felt like it was a very legitimate no, question. No, yeah. Like, are we, am I, this is some sort of afterlife? Cause it's fucking weird. Yeah, like, like, is this how everyone is led to yeah. hell or something? And... Yeah. yeah, and so uh, they, she realizes that they have to go back the same way, like, you know, essentially that they had gone in. So, you mm -hmm. know, they it's basically reverse would have happened just a while ago when they got to the treasure room. She goes and they dive underneath and they swim back. And, and this scene, something's in the water with them. Yeah, because they, you can't tell what I couldn't tell what. No, yeah. This is the scene where it's like they all like. It seems like something was like sucking them in, like yeah. a water vortex. And I'm yeah. like, what's happening? And there's like some screeching, and mm -hmm. then the camera's just kind of glitching Shaky, a bit. It's like then, cutting black for a second. And yeah. then they emerge, and they're all there. And it's like, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. We all good? Okay. We good. <laughs> Are we dead? And then, uh, so yeah, they end back up in uh, Flamel's tomb area. But it's he the way crusty that looking he now. is crusted. Like, mm -hmm. he is, does it. He, he, he seems more like he's been dead as opposed to just like recently tapped out yeah um and then we get a pan to let two right let two let two is just sitting there to pay head down just um, in the being weird as yeah fuck. and so and that's um, the way i wrote like how how the hell would he have gotten there yeah literally like how and mm -hmm. it's the way that none of them are even like oh well, like, they're just like oh let's hope, we need to help let's hope. yeah and it's like and so that's when susie be more afraid <laughs> yeah was is walking up to him trying to be like you know it's okay like you know hi Mm -hmm. Um, and <laughs> hello, and uh, he does the ultimate thing. Can you I give you my that. card? Yeah, right. <laughs> Can I give you my card, Ratma? Yeah, I'm gonna leave my card right here. Just give me a call. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, it's the way that I think I was like looking down on my phone when this part happened, but it just happened so fast because he just like lunges at her, mm -hmm. at and he motherfucker Suzy grabs her head and just starts bashing her into the, As we the all ground. Know, my favorite. <laughs> and it's the way that like homeboy in a matter of like at least what 15 seconds like murdered her mm -hmm. just by like bashing her head smashed like her head i think three times onto ooh. the ground and ooh, ooh her face was her but, face uh, was fucked I just, uh, and it's the way she kind of looked gray almost immediately mm. i don't know and this is where we find out that the stone can't bring back the dead yeah it can heal but if you're still back, alive. But it can't bring back the dead and she was dead very fast mm -hmm. um and so and then the the tube just kind of just okay bye just kind of yeah. yeets out of there they're just like okay bye. okay and nobody's like where'd he go where did like what's up what's up? like it's just kind of like she's dead now so we got to move on yeah i'd be like no which is again wh because like this is why i said she doesn't seem to care if it's not someone because yeah like poppy is obviously clearly just, upset and so died. zed yeah. yeah and she's like we have to go we have to go which is true like yes yeah. there isn't anything you can do but when Benji dies, it's a whole she's different. She's a fucking mess. Oh my god! Yeah, and it's like, and then they're telling her, you, "We have to go. We have to go." And, and it's, it's like the way that, like, because I guess that she feels like, because I got the sense of like, you're right, because she didn't really care when Susie Suxi died, and then she was when just it, like, "I'm and, so sorry." Yeah, like right. But I'm sorry then, for your loss, bitch. You knew her too. But then you like, witnessed her get murdered. They are here because of you, mm -hmm. and I feel like she had that 
thought in her head for Benji, but not for her. But I'm like, it's the same thing. She's there because of you. And yeah. I feel like she you felt have like killed these people. Yeah, she was. You brought them down here. Okay, and Heather. They're dead. Yeah, <laughs> for real. <laughs> I'm so. <laughs> I've killed all of yeah. them. Um, um, yes. And so they cl- climb back through the Jesus hole, yeah. essentially. And as she emerges and they get into that room with the weird pillar where the Ptolemaic hinge originally was, they she sees a noose hanging. Yeah. Just briefly, she goes away from it and pans back and it's gone. And so we're getting another a, like a, callback mm-hmm. for her father. Like, okay, clearly this hanging person means something to yeah. her. They're really... And at this point, you don't know still, so you're just like, huh. But you made, you, I mean, you put it together because it's like, well, she, you know, that he killed himself. Yeah, we know that he went crazy in search of, which, like, at this point, she, she going a little bit crazy too. Like, I mean, I would be if I was, if I was stuck in literal hell. (laughs) They are in hell. Um, And so they just, they keep going deeper and deeper uh, because they get back to the well. Yes. Again, they get back to the well. And she gets down and someone, she hears someone yelling Scarlet and they were like, is that Benji? And they were like, no. Yeah. And then we cut to Benji yeah. up top and he's the last to go. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and, and not so wait, working out in his favor. No, um, <laughs> I would not want to be the last person at all. And that was the same ghost girl, right? Yes. Yeah. So he, yeah. Ghost so he's girl the last is back one. again. He and hears a baby cry too. Yes. Here's a baby cry, and then that's whenever he essentially just gets pushed, right? Yeah, she will. She kind of picks him up and threw him into it. Shows her face. She has the baby in her hands. Yeah, she has a baby in her hands, and it's just this is like one of the I feel like the most major jump scares, mm-hmm. um, aside from maybe the stone people. Yeah, um, and it just like, yeah, she's just essentially like, yeah. boom. and then he fucking look breaks. at my baby, and, and he it, goes. Ah! And it's the way that he falls, like, yeah. through this hole and, like, hits the floor. Like, ooh. The homeboy. Man, Dead. That was a, yeah. His brain split open on that limestone. And um, that's whenever, like, we were talking about Miss. R.I.P. Benji. Uh, well, oh, God. Scarlet. Mm-hmm. I'm going to call her Samantha. Miss Who's Scarlet. Samantha? Um Starts freaking out, yeah, because freaking, freaking Benji's dead. Mm-hmm. Um, and and she's. Yeah. She's, like hysterical freaking out but it's also the way that i thought her crying <laughs> sounded like laughing it sounded like she was laughing to me. she's like ha, 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 i killed you all <laughs> and so um they then everyone else is like we gotta go like we gotta keep going you gotta leave like because she's just like crying over his body essentially mm-hmm. um and then that's we whenever. get back to climbing over the bones yes again that's right so we're climbing back through those bones and um uh, that's when we that's when we get little bro. Yeah. Little bro hiding under under the bones. Under George the water. rightly thing. freaking yeah. out. And is like, oh, wait, like, stop. Move the bones. Move the bones. Like, we got to get to my, that's my little brother. That's Dave yeah. or whatever the fuck his name was. And. Um, Danny. Danny. Yeah. Something with a D. Danny. And um, they are trying to get to him. And then Scarlet, you know, calms him down and is like, this She's, isn't real. He's this not isn't real. down here. Yeah. yeah. Like. You know this. He's not there. Um, and at this point in time, like the way that she looks, like I guess with the tears and sweat on her yeah. face and the way that George looks after that, they were just doing, I thought the actors did a fantastic job. Like they killed it looking mm. absolutely fucking terrified. Yeah. They looked horrified. Like and they're going to do like, some fucking shit. Yeah. I was trying to find if they like actually made him do anything. Like kind of like the Blair Witch. Mm. I couldn't find any information like that. Um, but... Anyways, they they hear more screams, and yeah. it's prompting them to go further. To me, I thought the scream sounded like Benji as he was falling mm. down the well. Okay. But I think it's Poppy's brother. Okay. I'm assuming it was his brother in that burning car. I don't know. I'm not sure. Or maybe just a kid. A friend, friend or something. Yeah, killed his friend. And that's where the burn on his hand <clears throat> comes into play. Because And then, uh, what was it? Uh, Benji had asked, said way earlier, like, so why, why is, uh, what's up with that burn? How did uh, Pop get it? And that's when it resides. Like, oh, we do not talk about that. Yeah. Yeah. You, we don't ask him. Don't ask. Mm. And, um, but we see, we round the corner to this just spectacle of a car mm-hmm. on complete fire burning with a person sitting in the back seat. Yes. Looking 
just like he kind of makes he eye contact turns to the right and pop poppy, poppy is yelling he's like it's, it's not, not my fault. fault it's not my fault yeah and then he starts getting sucked Which, towards the vehicle that was funny yeah oh very the, funny it looked like <laughs> he was on like a fucking treadmill or something yeah. and it was like moving him towards it um but whenever the guy grabs him that was creepy yeah like as fuck. i was fire, like, just pulling him into it mm-hmm. and then he falls and gets sucked into we get that weird yeah, it's such a weird CG. Like, like the, the car just gets, like, shucked into the ground. Just like the city got s- completely sucked up and swallowed. And it gets put right, like, he upside did. down. And so... Um, and just his little feet are sticking out. Yeah, so ding, 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 you literally ding. just have Pop's feet just sticking out. Mm-hmm. So sad. And they're pretty much just like, well, I, I liked Pop. can't do nothing. Yeah. I like Pop. He was kind of funny. sad that he died. But also, too, he didn't face whatever, whatever, it maybe was his fault. Uh-huh. And because he's like, it wasn't my fault. He's not accepting the truth. He's not like actually like dealing with that shit. Yeah, he's just, like, dead. He's got met your demise. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so um, they end up then after this, they're like, we gotta go uh, again because I mean, obviously he just fucking died. And it's the way, like you said, Scarlet has no like, she doesn't care. Mm-hmm. She didn't really care for him that much. And it's because that's like, like, we gotta go back. We gotta, we gotta go, go back. back. And she's and like, no, we can't. We have to leave. Yeah. And. At this point, George is kind of like, okay, no, we really do. And they're running down that kind of hallway. They see that weird cloaked yeah. creature. Oh, my God, that scared me. Mm-hmm. Not scared me, but, like, I was like, oh, this is creepy. It's like, ooh, yeah. fuck. Because, yeah, it's just this, like, hooded creature. Yeah. Human, humanoid, like, walking past. And so they, like, run back and they go hide in that little um, yeah. alcove. I don't know. And then we get this nasty, I put, you. the weekend turkey line is so gross. Like, what is it about, like, just being about to die that makes people confess their love? Right. Like, just fucking say it in person. Like, just say it in general. I don't know. Bite the bullet. He was like, the weekend turkey was the best week of my life. And she was like, mine too. And then Zed's just standing there like, Awkwardly what the fuck? Like, yeah. like <laughs> yeah. did y'all not just see that cloaked guy? Like, we got to go. We gotta, we gotta get out of here. And then, uh, George gets fucking attacked by a stone person coming out of the wall, mm-hmm. right? So I love the way that they just kind of like creep past the cloaked person, just like chilling in that chair. Yeah. Oh yeah, and that scene, and they're <laughs> all just kind of like, uh, yeah. And then they're like hiding up against the wall, and and then that stands up. And I will say, those stone sweep people, yeah, people scared the shit out of me oh. the first time yeah okay gotcha. that, because that initial scene with that like yeah rah, it's just and then it's just like a, and it a, glitches a, yeah and then a lot of it too is like they're just like running past the camera so you mm-hmm. just see like whoosh, really fast like because their faces were like in the walls it kind of reminds me in like uh, the chilling adventures of sabrina mm. when she encounters herself in like the third season i don't know yeah it yeah, got yeah, bad yeah. then yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yes it kind of gave me know. those vibes as well um because she's yeah the morning star version of her yeah, yeah and yeah, they're yeah. like and there's like a stone and they're in the mm-hmm. stone yes or something yes anyways oh, i remember now because yeah. she's challenging that other dude for the crown of hell yeah calcifer yeah. nope that's hell's moving castle <laughs> hey. calcifer um anyways yeah they were they were really fucking scary and it I essentially looks at, like it was just people painted in gray yeah, and like in a gray lighting. hoodie yeah and low lighting <laughs> they were like we're set and running around um yeah. but it did it did scare me the first time and yeah george's george gets a big mm-hmm. old chunk of his neck just like <laughs> ripped out and so um they are like freaking out they're dragging george teeth on the are floor. bones and they can they, cut you uh, that's true um they are dragging george like <laughs> on the like literally dragging him and running and pulling him <laughs> did it, um, did it. <laughs> right and, and so she realizes the stone isn't working she's trying to yeah, like, I'm like mm-hmm She's trying to use it, but it won't work again. And so that's when she's, like, putting it two in together, like, what they read earlier. Well, it's the way the motherfucker's dying, and he's, like, vitriol. Vitriol, yeah. And, <laughs> and so, I was like, he says vitriol, like, he's got time to solve riddles while he's bleeding he's still out. Trying, he's got to let her know, and because she wasn't thinking of it. And so that's whenever she's, like, figures out that this stone is, like, a <laughs> trick stone. And she has to go. She has to it, rectify it. She has to rectify it. And just that word, though. Oh, my God, rectify. And she has to go put the stone back in mm-hmm. order for um, her to get the actual real stone. And so it's the way that I'm thinking, this bitch is about to go literally, how is this girl going to get all the way back when like essentially it took them so long. It took them so long. And this, like, she's like, I'll a, be right back. A minute of the film. is like just her going back. back. And then it's also too, like there were certain things, like certain things had collapsed, like mm-hmm. certain doors like shut behind them. So it's like, 
I'm thinking like, but you know, it's a movie, so Final Girl's got to do it. So it's I the love way the way she, she face palms one of the stone people. It's the way that I'm thinking too. I'm like, how, where did the super strength now? <laughs> She's got super strength because she knocks out one of the rock people, just like pushes them back, and then also she grabs their whole ass face and, and it's just like, like yeets it. And then after that too, she has to uh, climb, climb up, up the, the rope. rope, and I'm just like, what? Like, where did I would never be able to? I'm like, this has got to be the most like adrenaline, like you know flight like yeah like mom's the, picking uh, up yeah, cars, cars kind of thing it's just like there's no logic like what so yeah homegirl is doing everything she can to get she's back. apparently like i mean she's she supposed could... to uh the water that they swam through earlier is now blood mm-hmm. it's no longer just water oh yeah she gets she gets sucked into yeah like there's these bloody hands coming out and they're pulling yeah. her in and we get the beautiful scene i love that scene mm. because uh it also gives us like one of the thumbnails for the movie like yeah. and different it's like one of the kind of iconic scenes i feel like um but the blood scene's so good i like it i like it and it's so scary like i mean the whole her going back by herself thing like having yeah. you encounter all that by yourself is like oh nope 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 um so she finally gets back to the uh, tomb verdad? and so um, she, at first she also encounters her dad hanging again right and yet again it's this last oh, time and she right? touches yeah she touches the because he's got like a sack over his head like a uh, pillowcase yeah. and she takes it off and, and it's, it's her it's her like <laughs> screaming at her yeah and, but it happens very quick and so and then, then the she, floor is biting her yes, did you realize there are, like, mouths like little people on the floor. yeah, yeah and then she dives back through the water from flamel's grave yes. into the treasure room treasure and, uh, she's able to put back the stone and then she's like where where's the, the new stone? stone and then it's like a Wife mirror, story, a mirror and, and she's covered in blood her name's scarlet she's red just like the stone is the philosopher's yeah. stone is and she's like oh like bitch you the stone yeah she's the stone which also too it's just like what okay it's the way that they put that in too though and i will say i'm like that doesn't give me like you uh, you're right though it's just i mean i think it goes back to the you control your own destiny and like it, the world is how yeah. you want it to be but essentially it's just saying like i mean i guess because she has came overcame all these things mm-hmm. that she's she, now given that yeah and she's rectified herself and so Rectify. but like she's given this essentially superpower mm-hmm. i don't know um and so yeah it, i would say it's hard because she then um is running to go find uh, George and or get back to the guys. And Somehow they're not dead. Yeah, and then that's this is the point where she does meet her father, right? Uh, yes. So, well, first, yeah, she's she's running back. Yeah. And this is where we figure out she can kind of man- manipulate the world around her because mm-hmm. she's running back over that blood trough thing and the little hands and then she goes as i see like as i see the world so it is kind of thing yeah. and the the hands retract mm-hmm. and then yes then she comes up to her father and she's like i was like bitch do you got time to be hugging your dead dad right now literally like the, she just hugs him and she's like it's crying sorry. i'm so sorry i so didn't answer pick up the phone i didn't know you were in so much pain mm-hmm. and then he just disappears Which calls us back to the beginning and yeah he she gets to say sorry and it rectified her wrong yeah uh-huh and a lot of her guilt. Yeah. And then she makes it back to George and he's like, did you get the stone? And she's like, yeah, I got it. And she just like Touches, kisses him. Kisses him. That's right. She's like, nah, nah, nah. and yeah. then he's better. Magic. He's, Magic kiss. This sleeping beauty. That's brought her back, just to, thinking, brought yeah. back to life. Snow White. Uh-huh. Um, and so, yeah, she's the stone. It's and that's, Disney when you, princess that's when you story. realize that she's the fucking stone. Yeah. And then she's, and that for me, I was like, oh, okay. Okay. But that's, and that's whatever. Pretty cool. Yeah. At that point, I'm like, all this time for a fucking stone, and it was inside and you the was, whole and time. It was in you all along. Just believe in yourself. Literally. And um, so then, uh, yeah, they she saves fucking uh, George. He comes to you, and they're like, we need to get out of here, right? Mm-hmm. And so they get to the, another, uh, hole. another hole. And it's the way that she's just like, to get out, we have to throw ourselves in. We have to rectify, we have ourselves, to rectify ourselves, and yeah. we have to jump. Yeah. So she then is like, you know, George, like, what is it that you're holding on to about Danny? Like, why? And then that's when we learned that he had told his brother that he was going to come bring back help. But his brother died waiting for him to get that help. Yeah, because so he, just had he got that lost. Guilt. Yeah. And, and he was, again, not his fault. Yeah. But he held on to it. And then uh, I don't know where because we got to give Zed something. Yeah. He's just like, well, I have a child I've that never I seen. deny. I don't know him and I don't claim him. I know him. he's mine, though. And at that point, I'm like. Oh, okay. Like, that didn't seem very, like... 
as big of a deal. Yeah, like honestly, but okay. Um, Whatever. <laughs> but and then I'm also too like, why weren't no children like coming in and attacking you the whole time? Mm-hmm. Where, where were your demons at? But so that happens, and then they both like they all see the light or whatever. They rectify themselves, and, and then they jump. They jump, and it's like essentially, I feel I get the vibe that like hell is they're literally like being transported through a portal, like mm-hmm. hell is spitting them out. Mm, and okay. it's just like black. That's a good way to see it. And they are put into this room. They mm-hmm. survive this fall miraculously. Yeah. It's like yeah. Gives me like Spy Kids vibes. Such. What I said when I was watching it. <laughs> Spy Kids too. I love yeah. lost dreams and they're just falling there forever. And then yeah. they look up. Oh. Yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah. I'd say about three hours now. Oh gosh. <laughs> wow. And hey, that movie too because it's got basically an alchemist. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow, the you parallels. Um, and so, yeah, we get to the bottom, and that's when they're like, Zed's well, like freaking, freaking out because like, there's nothing. There's, yeah, they're still there. They're just in a hole now. That's when they room. realize that there's a little door or a, a manhole, a manhole below them. So I really liked how it, and it made sense. Like this is probably my favorite part of the whole movie. I like the so upside cool down scene. Yeah, they're like trying to put, they're trying to pull the manhole, but they can't because obviously it's. Upside it's down. Upside down. Yeah. So then they have the. And she barely like pushes it, and then she's like, see oh. the light. Yeah. So then they push it down, and they move it to the side, and that's when you realize like there's the. It's the way that like the way that it's filmed. Like I'm just like it it's makes so you good, and then it makes you feel like if they go through it, they're just gonna like fall. Yeah, to the, the sky. sky. Like yeah, and, and so but the way they climb out and everything. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, and it's they're a, in this yeah. upside down, and they've. It's it's a mirror. Yeah, it's really cool. Which then in turn makes me wonder. Are they in like an alternate universe? That's what I was now? thinking too. Oh my god, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Wow. That they're in the opposite opposite world, basically. In the bitches, um, hell. Yeah, and so. Um, what they, if they really were dead? Mm. They never made it out. That fall killed them. It could have. Who knows? Uh, because we don't get much explanation after this, so they get out, and it's the way that it's love. like they all hug. Yeah, and it's like silence, and it's the way and that Zed, Zed just, just dips. Peace out. He's I like, never don't y'all ever fucking call me again. I never want to see you. Literally just dips out. And then she hugs George. And, okay, each time that she hugs him, she has her, like, butt pushed back. So far. I don't know why. Mm. She needs to learn how to hug better, though. <laughs> like, put your hips into it, girl. It's, I was looking. All I could do was look at her feet. Her feet were so fucking dis- like, yeah, dirty. Yeah, they were nasty. Yeah. Covered in blood, barefoot. Like, when they all lose their shoes, I don't know. Because yeah. uh, when yeah, Poppy gets. Poppy, yeah, all I guess hell doesn't have a like shoes. Shoes, no pants, none of it. So um, No shoes, no shirt. No problem. No, sir. Right. And then so uh, <laughs> then we get a roll of credits. Um, well, oh, it no, cuts no, 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 back sorry. to that beginning interview. Yes, that's right. And he's, he's like, why are you doing this? And she's like, well, I don't want uh, money, right, or whatever. Yeah, she uh, goes, I just want to find the truth. Yeah. and Or I just want to find this. And then um, she, he goes, you just want to find the truth? And she's like, yeah, mm-hmm. I want the truth. <laughs> cuts. Yeah. I love that ending. Aside from Zed just dipping. Yeah. But I mean, I probably would be like, no, you have literally brought me to hell and back. I do not want to see you. Like, I need a week. Yeah. At least. Like, fuck off. If we ever do talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pretend this never happened. Right. Great. But I need to disassociate and go have a drink. Yes. <laughs> like, Maybe go say hi to your kid. Yeah. That too. Would be. Um, oh, man. I, don't, I, I love it. All right. So, what, Caitlin. Is it time? It, I think it is. Is it time to Blue run? time. Have you rectified yourself? I have. I'm rectifying myself right now. <laughs> what is that? That sounds nasty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I am going to give this movie a solid three boos. Three boos? Three boos for three me. Boos for I think you. it's for me, it was like as above, so below. Like, you know, like so above, not average like it was just like it, it i liked it i mm-hmm. like i like that there's thought behind it and also looking up more details about it like you know apparently the film is like following dante's inferno mm-hmm. like the, the nine, the nine circles. Rails, circles of hell kind of situation and what you have to get through because in that too you have to go further down you you have to go all the way through hell to get out of hell mm-hmm. um so 
I like it. I thought it was very There's thoughtful. There's a lot of thought. Yeah, I thought film. it was very thoughtful. And it's like, like we said, it's the national treasure of horror movies. Mm -hmm. And I'm a whore for national treasure. Me too. So. I am a fan. Whenever they played it in history class, I was like, Same. bet. And everybody else was like, bet. heads down. And I'm national like. National treasure again. And I'm like, yay. yeah, get that declaration of independence, Book of bitch. secret. Yeah. Yes. Love it. Do you was know why daylight savings time <laughs> is in a, because Ben Franklin yeah, yeah, I love those movies. That little Liberty Bell, love it. No, um, three. Yeah, that's good. Three. I, I love this film. As I've I know you made do. it very clear. Um, I just I think it's so fun. It I it has a bit of a slow burn at first, and a lot of subtleties you have to be paying attention to until yeah. shit just absolutely explodes in the end. Just like I mean, taking Deborah Logan, just like the Blair Witch, like a lot of these. I'm films, a fan yeah. of all of that. They build up. Um, and so. Uh, just, I, I love it. I'm between a four and a 4.5 for me. Mm. I okay. really do like yeah. this movie a lot. I don't know. If you give it a 4.5, it would give us an average of four. 4.5 it is then. Yay. And overall from your boo base, we give this movie a, f a four, a four, four, four rating for four. Yeah. We did have one response on, um, that we wanted oh, to the, read. Yeah. From Instagram. Essentially it, um, her name's Zoe. She's a yeah, she's gonna right. be my sister in law. Oh, shout out to Zoe. Very soon. The sister in law. Um, but she gives it five boos. Five boos. Five she liked boos. it quite a bit. Um, and then Mike said, Mike said, Yeah, this movie pretty creepy. Pretty creepy. Yeah. He's, he's a fan. Mm. But yeah. So let us know how you thought like what you thought of this movie, if you Please liked it, if you hated comment, it. Comment, let us know. Please tell us what you think. Mm -hmm. We enjoy the feedback. Yeah, we do. Yeah. And as always. We Here. are in the lovely Rogue Media Studio Networks. Mm -hmm. They take good care of us. They make us sound pretty. They do. Pretty. Um, and we also um, go listen and check out any of the other, all the other podcasts that are on this network as well. Lots of great podcasts yeah. on this network. There's literally something for everyone mm -hmm. or anything. Or even just like finding something that you weren't even thinking thinking that you would be into. Yeah. Um, so many things. And make sure that you listen to us wherever you can find your podcasts. I mean, and you can find us, yeah, on most of the platforms, biggest ones being Apple, iTunes, yeah. Spotify, all there that stuff. Are. Yep. And if you are listening on there, please don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe. Yes. Um, it really helps us get ahead. And then if you would like your comments and thoughts about films to be read on the podcast, you can follow us at exactly one social media platform being Instagram. At Boo Bay's Podcast. That's right. B-A-E. Yes. Mm -hmm. Not babes. No babes. we are the babes. That's right. That's right. And once again, I've had so much fun. Yes. It's the way that I've watched this movie like at least five times this week. <laughs> like, <laughs> Gotta take it all in. <laughs> it was like half one time, fell asleep, half another time, watched it again because it wasn't good enough. And I was like, but then I was drunk. And so then yeah, like, last night I tried to start it and I was like, I am <laughs> trashed. I have shame. I have no clue what's going on. Oh my gosh. So anyways. Yeah. Why have I been so and trashed sad all this stuff. week? <laughs> sad stuff had to happen. Oh but, my gosh. Oh well, R.I.P. R.I.P. And uh, like bye, we always bye, say, bye, 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 This has been a Rogue Media Podcast.